From feeding you germ-infested tea to sitting next to someone who said their goodbyes, these are seven dirty airline secrets you need to know. Number seven, unclean toilets. If you've been a passenger who has stood in queues for using the restroom, we've got news for you. These toilets are barely ever cleaned. So much so that the flight attendants confess to only cleaning them when they're unimaginably dirty. A flight attendant who has become a TikTok travel influencer and goes by the name of Flight Baby spilled the beans. Turns out the men's bathroom is even dirtier. If a fella is in the cubicle and the plane suffers a little turbulence, he might just pee in the wrong direction. So if you find yourself having to use already soaked toilet paper, don't. That's the reason why it's preferred that you use any towels instead. They'll be a lot cleaner than the toilet roll, which has arguably seen enough for a lifetime. At least, Qatar Airlines provides disposable toilet seat covers that allows you to reduce the number of bacteria your nether regions would encounter. This is precisely why you should make sure you don't remove your shoes in the washroom too. You just can't predict what fluids have made contact with the floor and dried up. Goodness, flight attendants have to bear a lot and it's not just their patients being tested. Number six, a flight attendant's pay. We've all imagined flight attendants to be wealthy and living a life of adventure. Well, here's a shocker. They only get paid when the plane is up in the air. That means they don't get paid for all the time they spend waiting for passengers to board or disembark. What's worse is that the airlines claim that the hourly compensation takes into account the time needed to board a flight, but flight attendants argue that it's not enough, especially given the frequency of flight delays and cancellations. And if you thought it was okay to ask your flight attendant to lift your heavy bags into the overhead bin, think again. Their airlines won't cover them if they are injured doing that, and they can't risk being out of work and out of money just because they can't pack light. It seems like Delta flight attendants have had enough and are looking to unionise and fight back. We're rooting for them. I'm sure we've all wondered what a flight attendant's wallet weighs. Well, it's not a straightforward answer. Depending on the airline, the number of hours worked and the years of service, a flight attendant's salary can vary greatly. Within the same airline, one flight attendant could be making a handsome six-figure salary, while another could barely be making ends meet. The amount you make as a flight attendant is heavily influenced by the trips you fly and how much you want to work. They may look glamorous, but it's coming at a huge cost. But there are more troubling issues plaguing airlines. Number five, unsanitary pillows. We've all had our doubts about how sanitary and clean are the pillows and blankets in a flight. Despite being wrapped in plastic, these items may have been repackaged without being adequately clean. A supplier of these amenities to some of the top airlines was accused of doing just that a decade ago. Think about all the previous passengers who may have drooled, sneezed and wiped their hands and faces on those items before you. More so, the Wall Street Journal conducted an investigation that revealed the shocking truth about the cleanliness of airline pillows and blankets. They found out that these cosy items are only cleaned every 5 to 30 days, which could pose a significant health risk to passengers. If you're eager to start carrying your pillows now, make sure you know a few rules before you splurge on a travel pillow. So it's probably a good idea to bring your blanket or wear warm clothing instead of relying on these potentially unclean amenities. Unclean amenities brings to mind the water being used on board. Number four, contaminated water. It might make your stomach queasy, but the water on a flight is not hygienic. Flight attendants are warning passengers against drinking the water served on aeroplanes due to possible contamination. Former flight attendant Heather Wilde disclosed some shocking secrets from her time in the industry, including making soup using airline water. Other flight attendants have also shared their concerns and won't even drink hot water, plain coffee or plain tea on flights. The caution is justified, as the EPA discovered that one in eight planes fail their water safety standards and 15% of tested aircraft water systems contained harmful bacteria. The water used for making tea and coffee and in restroom services is stored in onboard tanks that can go without cleaning for long periods. This can result in the growth of harmful bacteria in the stagnant water. To make matters worse, instead of being emptied and cleaned, the tanks are often just topped up with fresh water. Studies have revealed some shocking facts about the water quality on aeroplanes, making it a good idea to avoid drinking tap water on flights. So, it might be a good idea to stick to soda instead of risking your health with contaminated water on your next flight. But not all challenges in flight are unavoidable. Number three, mummy on a plane. 
It's not something anyone wants to think about, but the possibility of sitting next to a deceased person on a flight is a reality that some have unfortunately had to face. If a passenger dies during a flight, flight attendants are trained to handle the situation with dignity and respect. One of the first steps that flight attendants take is to cover the deceased passenger with a blanket to ensure their privacy and maintain their dignity. However, the situation can quickly become more complicated if there are no empty seats nearby to move the deceased passenger to. Fortunately, the International Air Transport Association has provided guidelines for flight crews on how to handle such situations. According to the IATA, flight attendants should try to move the deceased passenger to a seat with fewer passengers around, or even consider moving them to the galley or first class section where there may be more space and privacy. In some cases, there is even a designated compartment for the deceased passenger, affectionately known as the corpse cupboard, where they may be placed until the flight lands and medical professionals can take over. Despite the best efforts of flight attendants and crew, the situation can be distressing for other passengers on the flight. Speaking of distress, you want to calm down in flight. Number two, no room for mistakes. Korean Air's recent announcement of an updated policy on tasers has caused a stir in the aviation industry. The airline is now allowing its flight attendants to use tasers on board its aircraft to help deal with violent acts and disturbances in a fast and efficient manner. The new procedure is still shrouded in uncertainty, with no official statement on how and when the equipment will be used. The incident involving 80s pop star Richard Marks back in December 2016 caught everyone's attention. He helped subdue an unruly passenger on a Korean Air flight and highlighted the need for airlines to be prepared to deal with disruptive passengers. However, the use of tasers is a drastic measure and should be reserved for extreme cases where there is a threat to the safety of the passengers and crew. As a passenger, it's important to be aware of your behaviour and follow the rules and regulations set by the airline. By being a well-behaved passenger, you can avoid the risk of being subjected to the use of tasers. It's better to be safe than sorry, so keep your crazy side at home and enjoy your flight in peace. Except, not flying can work in your favour too. Number 1. Overbooking wonders Surprisingly, airlines frequently overbook flights and offer passengers up to $10,000 to give up their seats voluntarily. This might seem like a lucrative opportunity, but there are some things you should know before making a decision. Often, airlines overbook their flights just so that if someone cancels at the last minute, they won't have a seat gone to waste. So, they're ready to compensate you for your troubles. To maximise your benefits, it's crucial to do your research beforehand. Confirm the next available flight and inquire about food or hotel vouchers if your delay is lengthy. If you have to leave the airport, don't hesitate to request transportation reimbursement. If you're brave enough, try negotiating for additional benefits like lounge access or a first-class upgrade. Above all, ensure that you have trip delay insurance and file a claim if necessary. The next time you encounter an overbooked flight, don't panic. With the right approach, you might just be able to turn it to your advantage. And there's some must-know secrets on the airlines. If you enjoyed this video, check out this 7 Dirty Secrets All-Inclusive Resorts Refuse to Talk About video, linked here.